This video is for a men's man one, I guess it's pronounced, and uh, this is the electrostatic uh, motor that's electro electromagnetically levitated uh, rotor that you mentioned, and I got it to work, and uh, I'm using that hall sensor circuit that I had so much trouble with, but um, this is that pill bottle uh, electrostatic generator that I've shown in other videos, and there's an electroscope. And when I spin the uh, generator up, watch the rotor. And there's the electroscope splayed out. And that worked quite well. And when this uh, gets charged up and gets going, the uh, little uh, aluminum foil leaves barely touch the rotor. They just tap it. I'll do it once more close up so you can see how it works here. They just tap back and forth on the rotor and spin it up. And then uh, once it's spinning, they, they fold back basically and let it freewheel. And that's the charge that's staying on the uh, system right there from this uh, pill bottle electrostatic generator that I came up with. My uh, system makes a chirping sound, kind of like a UFO noise. It's an air core coil. It's about 30, uh, 30 gauge wire, about a 10 ohm air core coil with the hall sensor sitting up underneath it there. I'll stop it, see if I can get it to go again here. Spin it up again for us here. I tried this with other uh, electrostatic generators. Uh, all of them work on this thing. Um, you could even use probably a PVC pipe and a cloth to get this to spin up. And of course, once it starts spinning, it's just air friction. And then the magnetic uh, flux lines that slow it down somewhat, too. So you do have some friction on this. It's just not real apparent. But uh, actually, the ones that are hung from the needle run just about as good as this. Because I think what's happening is you've got a, a drag with the magnetic lines uh, that are working to support that thing up in the air. So even though it freewheels and spins for quite a long time, so do the ones that are just on a needle. Um, by the way, the rotor is um, a plastic shot glass that I, I sanded some lines on it. And then I used this um, India ink, this black India ink. And that's conductive. And it made the rotor real lightweight so I didn't have any aluminum, any metal on it. And then uh, it worked good for this electrostatic uh, setup. Anyway, there's a successful little project right there. That was a fun one. I'm glad I finally got it to work. Thanks for watching.